Hello, my dear students. This is Dr. Satish Polsitiwa from MIT World Peace University, School of Pharmacy, Pune, India. Today, I am uh, discussing very, very important topic that is understanding of Stokes law in pharmaceutical suspension. I hope so. You must have gone through my the previous two video, part one, part two. In part one, we have been discuss about the basics, fundamental of suspension, how the suspensions are, uh, how what is the suspension, what are different types of suspension, composition, then there. Uh, we call it as DLV theory, jitter potentials. Also, we have been discussed about the formulation aspects and ideal characteristic advantage applications of suspension. So now the next part would be your understanding of Stokes law because this is very very important when you are making the suspension. One has to understood this Stokes law. Then and only one has to understood the optimization process. How we can optimize the suspension and we can make it the stable and uh, stable suspension with respect to chemical and physical properties. Okay, so let us discuss with this uh, topics. And I would like to thanks to all my viewers and well wishers uh, who has been given the huge response to my channel. Up till now, I have received near about uh, three more than three thousand views to my all the channels. Thank you very much once again. So keep watching my videos, and uh, if you are not subscribed my channel, subscribe my channels to get all update from me. So what is pharmaceutical suspension? We have been discussed. It is a heterogeneous system, biophysic system, where the particles are uniformly distributed in liquid uh, in purified water, having particle size ten to thirty. So we have discussed this thing in my previous two videos. So now to your, today we are talking about Stokes, uh, Stokes law. Okay, the Stokes law is very very important. Uh, so let's, let us begin about the history behind the Stokes law. Uh, this Stokes law was uh, discovered by the Irish uh, mathematicians. Okay, uh, Irish born mathematicians that is Stokes, Jogs. Okay, Stokes. Uh, that's why we call it as Stokes law. Uh, he uh, described mostly on fluid properties of the liquids. Perhaps his most significant accomplishment uh, was the work describing the motion of sphere in viscous fluid. How the viscous fluid, how the spheres is uh, behave in the viscous fluid that uh, he had uh, mostly described in his uh, invention. This works lead to development of Stokes law. Okay, so uh, what is Stokes law? You look at this image. Okay, you have this one image over here. Okay, this is the particles in your. Uh, this is the continuous phase that is liquid. And this is a particle. If you are putting the particle uh, in this liquid, what will happen? Uh, which part is influencing? Mostly particle size, particle density, and viscosity. So he has been observed that uh, these three forces being acting on this your uh, free viscous, uh, we call it as free body diagram of sphere of fluids. Just three forces acting on that. So which three forces are acting on the sphere? One is we call it as uh, this buoyancy effect. That is we call it as viscosity, viscous drag. Okay, this is FB. We call it as FB. That is called as buoyancy effect. Uh, that you understood in floating. That is nothing but a floating. Another is uh, we call it as uh, this is viscous drag, viscosity. We call it as okay. Then this is the acceleration due to gravity. The three forces acting on the sphere. This three, the first two forces very very important because it provide the buoyancy effect, displaying the fluid in a question. Viscous drag, uh, drag the fluids and tend to float the drug. Okay, float that particular moiety, particular drug in the your system. That is buoyancy effect we are using in the floating drug delivery system and floating system. When when it is going to sink, when the particle density is more, it will going to sink in your system. That is called a sinking condition. We understood that. Okay, uh, that is the this is the force acting on the surface. Resulting from the gravitational force, that is milligram, we call it as. Okay, we understood uh, this. This is because of acceleration, acceleration due to gravity. So, what is sedimentation rate? Uh, because this Stokes law given the sedimentation rate is directly proportional to the radius of the particle and density of di density difference between the dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Dispersed phase, dispersion medium, we understood. Dispersed phase, your drug particle. Dispersion medium could be water in case of suspension. Uh, in case of emulsion, dispersed medium is nothing but your uh, oil. Okay, yeah, it could be water also. Okay, uh, and inversely proportional to the viscosity of dispersion medium. If you just took look at uh, look at this, uh, we call it as Stokes law equation is expressed in this formula. Okay, we'll discuss in details in next. Uh, understand this Stokes law. What is this uh, Stokes law exactly? Now uh, consider in case one, you have the uh, two particle having the particle size is five centimeter and here ten centimeter. Here five centimeter is smaller particle, bigger particle we have. Now if you transfer this particle into this liquid, mostly water, purified water, what will happen? This because of particle density, it will fall down due to gravity, settle down very fastly. This is we have discussed that is milligram we have discussed in earlier slides. Okay, this is the happening in the first case. Now uh, look at the second case. Now the particle is same, two particle you have. Okay, now what what you have done here? Only you have changed the viscosity. You have changed the viscosity of this liquid. Now, what is going to happen here? Force acting on this buoyancy effect. Okay, we have seen dragging viscosity effect. This two force acting. Okay, and this this uh, this 
settle on slowly slowly because of acceleration due to gravity because of velocity of the particle is going to decrease so what is happen this is fall very very slowly this force that retard the sphere moving through the viscous fluid that is happening this is happening over here in case of case 2 so what this uh, stokes law observe that he observe uh, we call as he observe how this particular free body uh, that's uh, moving in the fluids uh, the sphere is moving into your uh, we call as in the fluid that he has been observed okay uh, you understood what is fluid fluid is a substance that deform continuously when subjected to shear stress that is fluid what is viscosity a fluid property that retard the shear stress in a fluid to angular rate of deformation that is a viscosity viscosity can be modified by adding viscosity modifier thickening agent we can add that suspending agent also so this agent will increase the viscosity of fluids so as to retard the uh, gravity okay you all of know, all of you understood that this can be studied uh, written by this formula that is rate of velocity is uh, denoted by v that is called as settling velocity d is your diameter of your substance this is diameter of your substance then this is the difference of this two density difference of the solids of, that is called as dispersed uh, phase and l is dispersed medium the density difference of dispersed your solid and dispersed medium that is could be water difference of this and into acceleration due to gravity the gravity which is act acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity which is acting on the body surface resulting from gravitational attraction that is we are taking over here uh, divide by numerical you can take here uh, 18 eta that is viscosity from that equation what is this v sedimentation rate of velocity of the sphere d is diameter of sphere this particle density then l is medium density then n is uh, meta we call as eta a uh, viscosity medium g is a gravitational force these are the formula okay means from this equation what you conclude this rate of settling velocity directly proportional to the diameter of the solids difference in density of the two phase dispersed phase and dispersed medium and acceleration due to gravity and inversely proportional to the viscosity from that we can understood that is we call as stokes law okay because this stokes law is very very important in order to formulate these two kind of formulation deflocalate and flocculated that's why in deflocalate suspension we maintain the we always keep the higher rate of potential so in order to avoid that in order to keep that solid in a longer time in that your suspension but in case of flocculated only we add flocculating agents but here in deflocalate we add structural vehicle in order to keep that solid in dispersed phase for longer times because in this case what will happen once the cake is going to form once it comes in the primary minimum level that you have studied from dlu theory so it will form a cake then it is difficult to redispose again in case of deflocated suspension but in case of flocculated what happens it maintain that primary secondary minimum region as per the dlu theory that you understood from my uh, part 2 video channel okay so we understood that here uh, in flocculated suspension what happens we use uh, some flocculating agents like pvp or pg that will form going to form a uh, layer around that solid and it will form a flux and the flux is once it settle down again redisperse that's a property because it does not uh, we called as it will segregate properly once it aggregate again segregate okay that is the property of flocculated suspension so deflocculated suspension where the particles are remain suspended for longer times that is the predominant case in case of deflocculated suspension so stokes law assume a particles are spherical that is very very important stokes law assume that because he has been uh, design this for stokes law for the spherical particles because this works you have discussed that uh, motion in the sphere it describe the motion of sphere in the viscous fluid sphere because that's why it is applicable for if it is particle is and uh, irregular shape this stokes law is not applicable and also suspension are dilute in nature suspension those are dilute less than 2% weight by volume then and only this stokes law applicable particle do not flocculate then no brownian moments no electric effect that's why only in this case the stokes law assume even if you talk about reynolds number that you have studied in pharmaceutical engineering reynolds number must be less than 1 in case of if, if you apply stokes law because stokes law is applicable for you all of you know laminar and turbulent flow uh, if in case of reynolds number we miss it is dimensionless uh, dimensionless number for the measuring the fluid exhibiting whether it laminar or turbulent if it is uh, less than 2 Hundred three, so two thousand three hundred. Then we call it laminar. If it is more than four thousand, we call it as turbulence. Okay, this uh, Stokes law applicable only when the Reynolds number is less than one. This question may comes in GPAD examination, so you should understood that. In Stokes law, what are the application of Stokes law in dilute suspension? If you uh, you have studied limitation is that it will only applicable for dilute suspension. In order to make a stable suspension emulsion also, the Stokes law is very very important. According to Stokes law. the velocity of suspended particle falling under gravity is directly proportional to the uh, particle size because these three factors very important density of particle 
difference in density that is dispersed space and dispersed medium then viscosity of your medium then particle size also ionic concentration gravitational force these are the other factors but three factors mostly affect density difference viscosity and particle size is very very important okay what are limitation of stokes law just now we talked the formulation containing 2 gram in 100 ml follow this equation but about 2 gram in 100 ml then law is invalid means it is applicable for only a dilute suspension this question may comes in gpad stokes law applicable for only a dilute suspension less than 2 percent we can say it is not acceptable for concentrated suspension according to this equation particle should be rigid spherical uniformly that is another limitation it should be because the stokes law is what describe because perhaps his most significant accomplishment we have discussed describe the motion of sphere in viscous fluid he observed he uh, proposed the theory for the sphere that is we call as a spherical shape part particle but in practical the particles are not totally uniform at the jeta potential also we discuss uh, what, what is jeta potential okay you discuss that jeta potential is nothing but the uh, electro potential difference uh, when you put any uh, solute into the uh, any solution like if you take the uh, sugar solution sugar if you transfer into the water it forms a solution that behave a nurse potential but when you put any insoluble solid like talcum powder if you add any chalk powder if you put into uh, water what will happen it form a suspension where we consider jeta potential you must understood this solution nurse potential is mostly we follow for the suspension we follow a jeta potential we we all we have to always understood jeta potentials okay that we understood from that okay this is the jeta potential is nothing but difference between these two layer tightly bound layer and your stern layer so you have to always maintain properly you have to optimize this layer so you have to that can be uh, optimized by using that process called as control focalization we understood structural vehicle by adding structural vehicle like pvp sodium it could be chemical it could be synthetic structural vehicle okay we can add chemical electrolytes we can add some polymer okay sodium alginate xanthan gum there are so many structural vehicles are there carbapolar and all we can add and we can maintain that data potential properly okay because in case of flocculate suspension data potential always you have to keep minimum but in case of uh, deflocculate suspension always data potential should be always more in order to make them more stable because we have to maintain the all the particles uh, larger dentures keep away with that okay in order to avoid the uh, aggregation because that is the aggregation that's why we add structural vehicle because this is useful to quantify the surface activity of colloidal particles you can see over here you can understood here okay this is the understanding how okay this negative charge particle how it maintain that layer okay conclusion in the formulation of pharmaceutical suspension achieving product stability is critical but can be demanding and time consuming the principle and case study presented here show how this task can be made easier through application of stokes law uh, we are understood stokes law is applicable for only spherical particle and having the concentration of suspension less than 2 percent not for concentrated solution having reynolds number also less than uh, one then and only this will applicable jeta potential and this uh, stokes law is very very important in order to make the stable suspension because you have to understood uh, its thermodynamic property because suspension are thermodynamically unstable you have to make them thermodynamically stable then you need to understood this uh, we call as stokes law and all this provide uh, essential uh, foundation for systematic and effective efficient development strategy to induce the stabil stability needed to fulfill uh, the requirement of rheological property providing the vital information about the structural characteristic of suspension and the ability to support the particle to promote a rapid redispersion completely complementary application of these three techniques uh, outlined here that is stokes law then jeta potential and dlv theory uh, this leads and dobus and efficient formulation to meet the critical quality attributes in uniform dosing because nowadays we use a qbd quality by design applications okay now industry are going for the qbd application in order to make the your system more robust and more uh, we call as uh, effi effi uh, efficient so it's now compulsory and mandatory requirement for the who and usfda guidelines you have to always apply qbd so for that you have to take these critical attributes like uh, we all call as uh, stokes law means in stokes law we take this uh, into consideration okay particle size density difference and your viscosity that is the critical attributes while making the suspension even if you apply for nano suspension also we can apply these all the parameters Thank you very much for uh, listening my video. Uh, confidence is the key to success and preparation is the key to confidence. One has to understood the topic uh, with a very good manner. Then and then only you will understood this whole things. Uh, keep watching my video. I will be coming with the uh, upcoming videos. Uh, so many videos are there. Uh, so many topics are there I have to cover. So keep watching my YouTube channel. Thank you very much once again.